What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out Instant Justice Cut on Camera. Let's get to it. The scales, and when it does, it can be pretty funny. In a poetic justice moment, a girl thought she could annoy her upstairs neighbor by hitting the roof with a broom, but she ended up getting a surprise of her own. An incredibly observant and quick-acting man realized that some old tourists were going to be victim of an organized pickpocket scheme, where one distracts the tourist while the other takes their wallet and phones. Luckily, he stopped it. Cyclists, like car drivers, have to follow the same rules of traffic as everyone else. Right. In the city of Rome, a woman was tired of seeing scooters and went to push every single one of them on the sidewalk. What she did not know was that the police were watching her. Now you have to pay for it. A good lesson to learn is to not try to emote on your competition during a 100 meter sprint race at 16 miles per hour. Okay, not sure where this man was trying to go considering there's a traffic jam, but he decided to stop right in the sidewalk of the intersection. So nice. pedestrians taught him a lesson. Nice. Good. Yeah. I drive. Not but sure I also if it really is it. instant justice, but when a reporter was commenting about crime in a city in Chile and telling people not to wear electronics, a bird taught him that he should follow his own advice. Not sure if sleeping on the couch was worth this prank to his wife. Oh no. Despite being don't, 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 don't. told no, a driver tried taking his car down the stairs of a narrow small town due to a road closing and didn't want to follow the detour. Walk around and find out. When a pretend couple had a goal of trying to steal from a jewelry store, they had an embarrassingly too small box and were busted in perhaps the most awkward way possible. Hmm. If you're trying to steal from a beauty store, it might look suspicious if you came in without a set of full hair and leave with one. Yeah. Yeah, watch it. A carpenter did not want to listen to his co-workers that he was doing it wrong. And well, they just left him to find out for himself. <laughs> oh my I god. Like that. Patience is a virtue, but impatience is a laptop dropping vice. That's an expensive mistake. Those are laptops. Trying to break check someone is not only against the law, but also dangerous. This man got instant justice when his window was broken by a result of it. Good. Cristiano Ronaldo quickly silenced the host and audience when they were making fun of a young Japanese fan who was trying hard to speak a different language. <laughs> Meu nome é Jota. Jota? What's oh. your name? Your name? Uh, Why they smile? Why? You speak good Portuguese. Very good. Should be happy because you try very hard. It's good. Drinks are expensive. At festivals, since there's no competition. After a man laughed at his friend slipped, he tried boasting and it cost him his $10 drink. Good. Sometimes, trying to flex a car that is not yours is not the best idea. In Chile, a 22-year-old man instantly regretted trying to steal a woman's purse on the bus when the driver immediately closed the door to prevent him from escaping and drove him to a nearby police station. Good. Yes. I like that. Like Two guys well. plotted to throw their cousin into the pool, but karma quickly did its thing, and they ended up getting dunked themselves. <laughs> yeah. This is the moment Beautiful. in which a streamer knew that he had been caught cheating at a tournament, when he tried disguising his aimbot software as word.exe, and in a Hail Mary attempt went to try to delete the files. After a chef was being cocky and didn't believe there was anything wrong with his meals, Gordon Ramsay inflicted some emotional damage. 40 years of age, and I've gone to a lot of restaurants, but I've never, ever, ever, ever met 
someone I believe in as little as you. There are fights worth fighting. This man is mean. For. But one against a 40,000 pound motor vehicle is not one of them. Okay. In perhaps one of the costly TikToks, two teenagers were trying to prank a fast food employee, but failed to look back before reversing. Ew, no. Ew. <laughs> When a woman hinted that she wanted her man to give her money, he came up with a brilliant loophole that she can get however much she's able to get on the plate. Be a chain for her. She's so excited to get nothing. Okay, this is a wild story that ended up making nationwide news. When a college student went online and claimed that she got off a DUI by flirting with police officer, and he let her go because he found her attractive. I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a warning. Go ahead. And gave me his number and said we should meet for coffee or lunch. Anything for media. So I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. But well, this obviously caused outrage in social media. Because if true, the cop would have to be fired. Mm -hmm. And eventually it got to the county sheriff. And what saved the cop from getting fired was that he had body cam footage on, which showed a completely different story. I think you're having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So, I'm just going to give you a warning, it's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You were weaving a little bit and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle and I believe you are. Um, so my information's right here on the front, the reason I stopped you here is on the back. We're the cop did give her a card with the department number, but it did not include any personal information or an invitation to dinner. Furthermore, she was never asked to take a breathalyzer, but she did admit to driving under the influence online. Okay, I hope this diner right. that got embarrassed by the waiter when his card got declined at a restaurant got his instant justice by leaving a bad tip. Don't you buy it? Don't you buy it? For some reason, a man walking out of a store went to spray paint a car's window. Little did he know that behind the tent there was an actual person inside. Good, mess him up. An incredible moment to see is a man taking the time to get out of his car to give some instant justice to a litterer. <laughs> a not so known fact is that Conan O'Brien actually went to Harvard, and it's rumored to have an IQ of around 160. So Jennifer Garner was not really prepared to argue vocabulary with Conan and got brutally corrected. I, to see I, what the I sneaked into the room. Snuck isn't a word, Conan, and you went to Harvard and you should know that. <laughs> Past and past part of sneak. sneak. <laughs> <laughs> Not only was this a waste of cake, but the plan completely backfired. <laughs> Authorities didn't know how to stop all the cars that drove on the exclusive bus lane on the daily and decided to come up with a brilliant sting operation to trap them all at once. And well, it's incredibly satisfying to watch. I hope they all got tickets. A man tried fleeing the scene of a shoplifting crime on a scooter. Needless to say, cops instantly caught up to him. Bad idea. In perhaps one of the craziest court cases in Judge Judy, a 27-year-old man with 10 kids started dissing the judge's daughter in show. And well, it obviously didn't play in his favor when the case decision was made. Them, including um, your daughter? What are you talking about? It was just a joke, man. I'm not this making a joke. This might be your show, but I'm, this is my episode. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. Judgment no. for the plaintiff in the amount of four hundred and eleven dollars and seventeen cents. Step out. Party girl, Steve, you must step out. Tigers are great tree climbers, but they have nothing on monkeys. This tiger learned the hard way when it tried going in for the kill with an agile monkey. Everybody gets karma, even animals. Sometimes people ignore their vehicle maintenance for too long. <laughs> How long? <laughs> A group of dogs Forever. pulled an Uno reverse card when they called their big brother. Marcos Maidana is an Argentinian boxer that was set to fight against Adrian Benner for the welterweight belt. And during the press conference, Adrian Benner would not stop trash talking the Argentine boxer. I don't know if he's faking like he don't understand English, but after, 
After December 14th, he's going to speak English. But Adrian did go too far during the fight by doing some very disrespectful gestures to Marcos, yeah, which he so. later regretted since it made Marcos upset and riled him up, causing him to knock out Adrian soon after. Yeah. Yeah. An impatient man thought he could save a few seconds by running his car into the gate, but he ended up paying the price. Why in the rush? What are you going to? Is your wife in labor or something? This woman got caught red-handed by a homeowner's ring camera when it alerted them that there was movement at the front door, and to their surprise, the lady was stealing peppers from their garden. Thankfully, no one got hurt, but a thief chose the wrong jewelry store to pull a fast one on when the owner happened to be an athlete and chased him down the mall. Get up! Get up! Get up! Even though it might have looked weird, a cop with a sense of humor started trolling a man that walked up to him and began filming trying to get a reaction out of him to go viral on social media. Pretty good. <laughs> oh man, interesting. Look at the distance that he created, guys. No, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to point that out, that's all. A group called Africa Avengers shows tourists the dangers <laughs> of not securing your belongings. I the man this. followed his car in an attempt to steal his phone but got a jump scare instead. When the losing basketball team managed to score a three-pointer in the last second, gaining a two-point lead, they went crazy and started celebrating winning the tournament. But while they were celebrating, the other team used the .6 seconds remaining and scored. No, that's crazy. That would break my heart. I this man cry. instantly regretted his wardrobe choices that day. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, that was very good. Like, I wanted to keep going. Yeah, I like the instant camera, you know. Nature does its thing very well. That's why I always say, don't worry, you know, be humble. Don't, don't, don't try to stress or fight people. Don't worry, let nature do it. And you saw the video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know which one was more captivating to you. I think for me, the most captivating one might be the one where the boss had to stop people from using the bus lane. Yeah, I think that one, I like it. Yeah, I like it. People have to learn, you know, one way or the other. Hopefully they got tickets and they've learned. But it's the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.